So let's take a look at number 19 now. We have a, a word problem here. Looks like it's going to be related rates. Uh, the surface area of a spherical balloon is increasing at a constant rate of 40 centimeters square, uh, square centimeters per minute. So usually when I do related rates, I like to write um, given what we're given and what we want. So let's read that first sentence really carefully and try to uh, come up with what that means in terms of mathematical, a mathematical statement. So the surface area, uh, usually we write the surface area, we can write that with A or S. Why don't we write S? And they're telling us here that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And they're saying that um, this surface area is increasing, okay? Whenever they talk about increasing, that's a rate. And so that's a derivative, okay? So we're, we're kind of told in that first sentence that ds dt, the change in surface area, is at a constant rate of 40. Since it's increasing, it's positive 40. If it would have said decreasing at a rate of 40, we, we would have had to put a negative 40 here. Okay, so we've kind of encoded that first sentence into a mathematical statement. What about the next sentence? At what rate, I think this is going to be what we want here, at what rate is the volume increasing when the radius is 25? So the volume here we're told is, let's write V for volume. So V is for volume and S we're going to write for surface area. We're told here the formula for volume, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. I'm going to write 4 pi over 3 r cubed. It's the same thing. Um, writing it like this makes the derivative a little bit more obvious maybe because 4 pi over 3 is just a number. So when I do the derivative of this, the 4 pi over 3 will just come to the front and then I'll multiply by the derivative of r cubed afterwards. And we'll see that in a minute. So again, I want to emphasize that notice they're talking about volume, but they're, they're talking about the rate that the volume is changing or increasing. So that's dv dt. Now, this is so important here, this word when, okay? The way we write when in related rate problem is this vertical line, okay? So dv dt when the radius is 25. So when the radius is 25, that's how we'd write that, okay? And that looks like the old, that's all that we're given there. So we have to um, calculate everything just from that. So why don't we start, let me just write down the formula for surface area, 4 pi r squared. Now I see that I have a ds dt involved. So I should probably take the implicit derivative of this formula with respect to time t. So let's do that. When I do that, the derivative of f, s with respect to t is just ds dt. Now let's do the derivative of this right-hand side with respect to t. The 4 pi just comes out front. And the derivative of r squared is just 2r. But then right afterwards, I have to multiply by the derivative of dr dt. So that's the, uh, that's the formula that we have so far. Let's keep going with that. You know, ds dt is just 40, right? We're given that. So why don't we make that replacement? So we get 40 equals, um, this is 8 pi r, right? Times dr dt. And let me isolate for dr dt. So dr dt is going to be 40 over 8 pi r. And uh, I w I'm uh, seeing that we have a cancellation here. We can divide top and bottom by 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5. And 8 divided by 8 is just 1, so we just get pi r on the bottom. So dr dt is 5 over pi r. Maybe I shouldn't put a box around that because that's, that's something we will use in a second, but it's not really the main thing that we want to find, right? All right, good. Why don't we do something very similar now, except with uh, v? So the volume formula, like I said, it's 4 pi over 3 r cubed, right? That's what we wrote right here. Let's find dv dt of that formula as well. So dv dt of that is going to be what? Well, 4 pi over 3 just comes out to the front. 
The derivative of r cubed is 3r squared. But since we're differentiating with respect to t, and this is not the letter t, right afterwards we have to multiply by dr dt. Okay, now the reason that this is going to be useful, that dr dt is 5 over pi r, is because I'm going to substitute that in there on the next step. So let's see what we get then. Um, dv dt. Um, these threes cancel. So we get uh, 4 pi r squared. And dr dt, like I said, we're just going to put that in 5 over pi r. And why don't we clean that up a little bit? The pi's cancel. And one copy of the r cancels. So, and 5 times 4 is 20. So I think this is just 20r. Everything else goes away. And now we're at the end, and everything is going to be very easy now. This when line kind of means you're substituting this number into the, into the derivative, okay? In some sense, it's kind of like v prime of 25, except uh, we're doing implicit differentiation here. So let's put 25 in the dv dt formula that we just got, and we'll be done. So dv dt, when I substitute r equals 25 in, gives me what? It gives me 20 times 25, which is 500. So the answer for this question is going to be 500. Um, now, 500 is positive, right? So that means the volume is definitely increasing. So um, to be, since this is kind of a, a word problem, we should, to have good style, we shouldn't just write 500. We should uh, give a little tiny sentence, and we should give the units as well. Um, so it will be increasing at a rate of 500. And what's the units on that 500? Well, this is a volume, right? And we're working in centimeters, so it's cubic centimeters. But that's just the volume. This is the rate that the volume is changing. So we have to look for our time unit. In this case, it's per minute. So every minute, the volume is going to increase 500 cubic centimeters. All right, that completes that question.